Okay, so for this week's bad food blog, we have another Rustler's burger. We have the Rustler's Southern Fried Chicken Burger. Again, fully traceable to the farm of origin. Not really sure if I trust that, but here we go. Look, oh, isn't that nice? It actually doesn't look too bad. There's a little packet of mayonnaise in the bottom. And remember not to cook it in the packaging. Um, I'm not gonna be eating this, my wife is, and I'll uh, give a review on how it comes out afterwards, but let's see what it smells like. Let's open it and uh, let me tell you what it smells like. This isn't too bad at the moment. Color doesn't look too bad, sesame seed bun. Um, oh, the burger doesn't smell great, but it smells like, you know, like if you put a frozen chicken pack out somewhere. There you go, uh, there's the packet of mayonnaise, which I will not be using. And remember, do not cook it in the packet, I have to get a plate. So, let's place it on this nice green plate, and let's put it in the microwave and see what happens with it. Hopefully it won't explode. So I've been told and I've been forced to toast the bun. You can hear the bun, you can hear the rest in the microwave now. Um, apparently on the bottom, I didn't read it, my wife did, that says, for better results, toast the bun. I don't see it said anywhere there, but I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Stick in the microwave, full power. For perfect, for a perfect bun, heat the bun on full power indicated and toast the bun. So you're supposed to heat it in the microwave first and then toast it. My wife refuses to talk on camera. Oh yeah, that's a pizza box, by the way. This is bad food blog. What did you expect? No, you're going to use the other plate. That's my wife juggling a nicer plate on the screen. You're going to use the green plate that is being cooked. In. You can put that one back in the cupboard, right? So we're back. I'm just going to take a closer look at it here. Let's zoom the camera in. It does look quite nice. I gotta say, it's not too bad. Uh, it smells a lot better, and toasting the bun, it's not soggy and it's a little bit crispy. It doesn't look toasted, but I, my wife didn't doesn't like it toasted too hard, so it's just sort of got rid of the cold and made it a bit dried out. I think she's gonna put some mayonnaise on it now, so I'll be filming that. And that salad's all brown, I wouldn't eat that. Isn't that a satisfying video? Yummy mayonnaise. Okay, you gotta take a bite and you gotta give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You give me a thumbs up before you've taken a bite. Two fingers, victory. <laughs> I got you in shot. Come on, hurry up and eat it. I'm gonna. That that lettuce is not good anymore. You can't. It's gone. Six. Five. I usually go by the color. That red stuff on the ends is bad. Okay. Yeah, bad. Thin. It's not like it's gonna make it any healthier. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This has been Bad Food Blog, and uh, my wife should take a bite and then give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Apparently, a thumbs up. She's taking a bite. It does taste nice. I still think it's the worst food possible. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.